Hello, this is Labiel, aka Ocean Depot, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick guide to the add-on Need to Know. Uh, like I said, it's just going to be a quick and basic guide. I'm only going to show you spell cooldowns, debuffs, and buffs. I think those are pretty much the basic things that most people want to show uh, when they're raiding or just to help them with their class. Anything else, uh, feel free to explore the add-on. It can obviously track a lot more than that. Uh, so to start out, uh, let me show you the add-on in action. As you can see, these bars popping up here are indeed the add-on need to know. Uh, I have a little, I have a few more bars than this, but this is just to show you a little bit. Okay, let me quick off some of my buffs so I don't get distracted, because I get distracted sort of easily. Alright, so first when you download the add-on, when you get into the game, type slash need to know, and it will show bars that you've already set up, or it will show you uh, three gray bars when it's your first time. Clear the settings here. Just like this. Uh, you can already size up the add-on, or size up the bars by goofing around with the little tab right here. Also, if you go into your interface and go to your add-ons, click need to know, and you can see your different groups. There's four of them, and this one's group four. There's a maximum of six bars per group, minimum of one. So you can mess around with that. We'll start with three. And then you can change the appearance, uh, the appearance of all the bars on the background color. Right now I just have it set to black. The bar spacing. The bar textures, like this. And the bar padding for the background. Um, I'm, I don't really like much background drawing, so I put it on very low. And the font to uh, show buffs and debuffs by their name. But then once you have that figured out, then it's time to set up your bars in general. And you might want to set up your bars before you uh, mess with the font. So the first one, and easiest one to set up first, is a spell cooldown. So first you right click on it, make sure the bar is enabled, and then you go to bar type, and spell cooldown. And then you want to go to the choose buff slash debuff to time, and enter the spell that you want to keep track of the cooldown. For this one, we will do Mind Blast. Even though I already have it set up, just because it's easy to, for me to do. Uh, then you go to time format, and you can pick for it to show uh, just just minutes, minutes and seconds, or fractional seconds. For this one, we'll just go with minutes and seconds, because that's what I prefer. You can also have it show the icon of the spell or the debuff, um, or names, stacks if there's stacks, and things like that. So feel free to think around with that. If there are no stacks, you can still have a check and it just won't show up. You can show the visual cast time and give it blink settings, but that's something you can uh, mess around with yourself. It's nothing super important. Um, and then, of course, you can set the color. Uh, let's make it red. Bright red. Alright, so then you have it set up. And then you hit need to know again to make the bars disappear, which actually means it's activated. And we test it, and voila! It shows the cooldown of a Mind Blast, and as soon as it runs out, it means Mind Blast is ready to cast again. So now that we have a spell cooldown, let's do a debuff. Same general uh, start. Go to bar type, click debuff. Uh, name the debuff. So for this one, let's do Shadow Word Pain. And let's give it a yellow background, an orange background. And for the time format, we'll do minutes and seconds again. And the only thing that you want to make sure with debuffs, then after you generally set that up, and it's very important, is go into debuff settings and go to unit to monitor. If you have it set on yourself, it's obviously not going to work when you're trying to track a debuff on a target. So you want to click target. And of course there's other options if you uh, feel the need to do those. And then you also want to make sure to check that it's only cast, um, for it to only show up if it's cast by you, unless you want to keep track of everybody else's. So we, to make sure that it works, we'll do slash need to know again, and voila, it shows our Shadow Word Pain timer. The nice thing about the debuff uh, setting is then when I click on another target, it goes away, because that target doesn't have that debuff. Click back to the target with it, and it appears again. Pretty uh, handy when you're trying to work through multiple mobs. And then lastly, let us go to buffs. So again, buff setting, or <laughs> bar type, click buff. Uh, for this one, we'll keep track of when I proc my shadow orbs. 
make sure for buff settings that the unit to monitor is yourself. Again, unless you're monitoring somebody else. Uh, for time format, let's do fractional seconds to be wild and crazy. I want to make sure for this that I have a stat count because I can get up to three shadow orbs and I would like to know when I have that many. And for the bar color, let's do blue. Alright, now that's set up. So I once again enable it. And let's play RNG. There we go. I proc'd a shadow orb. Oh, and I proc'd two. And as you can see by the one we just I showed you and set up right over here, that it's properly showing that. And to for your surprise, that's pretty much all it is to the add-on. Um, I prefer need to know simply because it's really simple, and I like it because when you download the add-on, everything's a clean slate. You set it up yourself, and it's really easy. It's not one of those uh, timer add-ons that come pre-set up for your class. I like to customize everything and make sure it's to my liking, so I like that it's clean to begin with. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I appreciate uh, the comments and suggestions that you leave. If you have an add-on in particular you would like a basic guide to, uh, feel free to suggest it uh, or send me a message. Uh, otherwise, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and thank you for watching this video.